Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Amy J. I have a paranormal channel mainly filled with paranormal um, with the odd vlog slash witchcraft video as well into it. So I have all my videos planned. I have been researching the craziest and creepiest paranormal videos ever and I cannot wait for you guys to see what I've got coming in the next couple of weeks. But today's video is going to be an update because I just want to tell you what's going on because let me tell you. I have not been by myself obviously because of the lockdown and I want my channel to be nothing to do with that. I don't want to mention anything. I want it to just be like a little creepy escape for you all, if you will. Um, and because I've been, people have been in the house, because my mum's home, my brother's home, stuff has been happening more. All right, so the first thing I want to talk about is pre perhaps the creepiest thing that's happened in a long time. Um, it's hard to talk about it and it's hard to explain it because I understand it, it does sound crazy. It does sound unbelievable. And obviously some people will not believe in it. I do, a lot of people do, but just think of this as a creepy story if you don't believe in it. But um, all right. basically, I have been, it's happened three times to be exact. I have seen a woman. Um, it, it sounds weird to, to even say it is weird for me. Um, but basically at night I lock up, I think I said that before, um, I make sure everything's like refilled for the morning, it just puts my mind at rest. Um, I, I like cleaning up, I'm weird, I just enjoy it. Um, and I've been cleaning up at night and I'm, from the hob, like we have like a kitchen island, you can see into the living room. And in the living room you can see, basically from where I'm stood, you can see the armchair. And the first time it happened, I thought it was my mum. So I was sat down, I wasn't sat down. I was cleaning up, had my earphones in, glowed over to the window, we have like French doors, and um, I saw someone sat in the chair, a woman sat in the chair. So glance back, Karen and I just thought it was my mum. Thought, give her a minute, I'm gonna see if she wants a cup of tea. Went back in, she was not there, there was no one there. I went upstairs to check if she'd come down and she was fast asleep. Um, obviously my brother, he's a man, um, and it was weird and I just thought maybe you're just tired, just go to bed, start again tomorrow, like fresh day kind of thing. So the night after nothing happened, didn't happen for a couple of nights, and then a couple of nights after that, cleaning up again, glanced over to the window, and I saw her again. She was just sat in the chair, facing like the front window. Um, she didn't do it, like by the time I glanced over, kind of looked back, she was, she was gone. Um, it's happened multiple times now. Um, it sounds crazy, me telling you. It sounds crazy in, in general. Um, but yeah. Um, it's not making me feel creeped out, as weird as that sounds. Um, it is just more odd to see something because I've never physically seen something. Like I've captured things and I have like captured orbs and captured like figures and stuff like, but I've never physically seen something, if that makes sense. I've never physically captured something there, like I have seen something. I, I, I can't explain it, um, but apart from seeing someone, I have been waking up to my name being called. Um, it happened about, it's happened a handful of times, but I keep up counting things at the moment. Um, I've woken up to people, a person, sorry, a woman to be exact, saying my name. And I have also woken up to someone saying hello. And I've also been woken up to like mumbling, like as if people, multiple people are talking. Um, I do struggle with sleep paralysis and I do astral project. I will make a video about this, a separate one. Um, but I don't know if it's because everyone's in the house, like obviously we're in lockdown, I don't want to say anything about that because I want my channel to be like a little creepy skate for you all, um, that didn't sound right, you know what I mean. Um, but obviously stay home, stay safe, and thank you to everyone that is a key worker and doing the best that they are doing, and um, I really appreciate that more than anything, I think we all do. Um, but I don't want to make anything, I don't want to say anything about it because I don't want that to be like um I don't want people to come on here and then it 
be put in the mind, if you know what I mean. I want them to just be like a little, little safe space kind of thing. Um, and maybe because everyone's in the house, it's getting a bit more active, I don't know. Um, but yeah, it's getting weirder by the day. And then sometimes it can go days and nothing will happen at all. And then it'll just be like a slight knock or like a slight footstep, just stuff like that. And then all of a sudden, like, it's as if it just comes to life kind of thing. Um, another thing that has happened, which is a weird thing for me, because if you know me, you know I am a quite a clean freak. I like things being neat and tidy. Um, I have a tidy house, tidy mind kind of thing. And every morning I make the beds. Love my bed being made, just love it. And I have a circular tray on my bed that has like a candle on it and stuff. But I always make sure like everything's super neat and like straight. So this one day I went in and there was like a book imprint, if you know what I mean, like a square imprint on my throw as if someone had put like a book on there. Obviously there wasn't, there was nothing there. It's happened before where like I've made my bed and gone back in and it's as if someone sat on it. But this was like a, a, a square, like a proper, it's just weird. And um, no one else was in my room and no one would put a book there and then move it because that would be weird. Um, that was weird, I can't really explain that one. But like I said, it's just, it seems to be getting, I don't know, more active, but again, not like threatening, if that makes sense. Um, another thing, the last thing I will mention, um, no, is um, I, obviously, being the witch I am, believe in a lot of things and I do believe in different things like angel numbers and stuff and the weirdest things have been happening so I do see a lot of angel numbers in the day obviously when I'm practicing witchcraft and stuff you see things you do things and I'm always careful what I'm doing as well but um I've been seeing more angel numbers all the time so like I will literally see them like on the hour every hour more frequently than not but I know a lot of people will get this and the people won't but when you've had a loved one that has died sometimes you see like a robin or a butterfly and you think of them and you think it's like their way of kind of coming back and saying hello kind of thing um and a couple of times now i have seen like a robin or a butterfly and as soon as i've seen them i've checked my phone and it's been like a like a 10 10 11 11 kind of thing and every time i see one now i will check my phone and it's always always an angel number like, I, I can't explain it. I see them all the time anyway, but now it's becoming more frequent with like added things to it. And um, I don't know what's happening, but um, I don't know, I don't know what's going on. Um, this will be my last update for a while because there's obviously more videos I want to put up about the paranormal, different stories and that. Um, I want to update you monthly on what's going on. If nothing happens, I will say I won't update you. Just be normal videos. Um, but yeah, so thank you all so much for watching this. Please stay safe and stay home if you can. Um, obviously, if you're a key worker, thank you again. Um, also, please subscribe to my channel. It is difficult sometimes when the algorithm of YouTube is a bit more like, mm -mm, and I think things need to be liked more and commented more and stuff to get more views. I'm not really sure how it works. I don't know, um, but please do, please do, it helps me so much and I wanna grow my channel this year, I wanna make it bigger so we can have like a little cute creepy community kind of thing. Um, so yes, thank you all so much for watching and follow me on Instagram, I'm active on my Instagram all the time, like all the time. Um, so yeah, thank you all so much and I'll see you soon.